So have you ever been hanging out with your friends at school, the mall, or maybe even your house, and then all of a sudden you just sense a disturbance? Without even realizing it, you've become the third wheel. But what is the third wheel? It's when you're trying to have a good time with your friends, but they happen to be a couple, so instead of actually hanging out, you're sort of just following them around while they do overly affectionate couple stuff. And you don't want to interfere, so you kind of just exist there, silently for the whole time. But you can't leave because you're hanging out, apparently, and you want to join in on the conversation, but you also don't want to bother them, but you can't leave. Do you see the problem here? Out of this perfect pair of wheels, you're just the, you're just the third one. And that's when you begin to reflect on your entire existence on this earth and how you ended up in this situation. <laughs> what, just me? Throughout junior high and high school and even to college and beyond, I've accidentally ended up in way too many third wheel situations and fifth wheel. Uh, seventh wheel. Eleventh wheel. Flashback to first year of college, me and some friends are hanging out, and at the time we had a band, so our day consisted of practicing songs and playing Smash Bros. But since we didn't have a singer at the time, my boy Ren decided to bring a plus one, a girl named Tara who could sing. Now did she actually end up singing a lot during this hangout? <coughs> uh, n not really. Did Ren just bring her along so they could spend time together because they had a thing going on? Maybe, probably. You know, looking back at this, I should have seen this as a triple code red third wheel warning from the very start, but I totally didn't do that. I don't even know if Tara actually knew how to sing, or play an instrument for that matter, but wh whatever, I guess. Just do what you gotta do, Ren. You gotta get the gyal, man. So our crew is just hanging out, we rehearse our songs and play Smash for the entire day. Eventually, night comes and it's time to go home. It is now 3am. You see, after hanging out late at night with friends, I would routinely get a ride home with Ren. Basically tradition. Basically freeloading. So I start packing up my guitar and our other band equipment and begin walking to the car. But then, wait a second. If Ren and Tara came to the house at the same time, and Tara didn't drive here... Oh god! Tara is sitting in the passenger seat of Ren's car. Beep beep. Wait, so if it's just me, Ren, and Tara in one car, doesn't that make me the third? No god, no anything, no god, no please anything but the third wheel! So, Ren, Tara, uh, how, how's the kissing the been? The band, the band, I mean the band practice, the band kissing. <coughs> how, how you been? <laughs> I want to die! Yeah, I totally forgot about Tara. But wait, this isn't the part where the third wheeling happens, and actually, I got along really well with Tara, and all we did was joke around while in the car. Honestly, it's like Tara wasn't even a girl, we were just like a couple of dudes being bros, you know? Hanging out with couples actually isn't that bad or awkward at all, as long as they're not on super PDA mode and you're having fun, it's all good. But if they are, and they're kind of macking on each other, and you're just sitting there taking it, then uh, yeah, my prayers go out to you. Besides, since we were driving, it's not like Ren and Tara could get all affectionate right then and there, I mean, <laughs> what are they gonna do, just, just start making out while we were driving? <laughs> that wouldn't happen, I hope. Thankfully, that didn't happen, obviously. So we get to my house, and right before I open the door to leave, Tara suggests... Do you guys want to, like, I don't know, like, do more stuff? S stuff? stuff? Wait, wait, wait. Did, what does she mean? Did she just say stuff? What does she mean by stuff? Dude, I think she said stuff. Like, go and get ice cream. Oh, uh, ice cream. <coughs> uh, ice cream. Ice cream, yeah. Yeah, ice cream. she meant ice cream. I was thinking of ice cream, too. Then I thought to myself, should I really get ice cream with Ren and Tara? It's already 4 a.m. Mm, but then again, I'm probably going to be drowning in homework for the next three months when spring break is over, so... So, hell yeah, I'm down for ice cream. So we drive to McDonald's and the McDonald's was closed. Open 24 hours, my ass. Besides, let's be real, the ice cream machine would like probably be broken anyway, so. Then Tara chimes in again and says, wait a second, I have ice cream at my place. Are you guys down to have a sleepover? Maybe you should just turn them down. I mean, like, they're sort of almost dating, right? So just give them some space, man. Hell yeah, I'm down to eat ice cream and have a sleepover. <laughs> So we drive all the way to Tara's house, and since I was so excited on the idea of eating ice cream and sleeping over at a pretty girl's house, I forgot one crucial thing. Bam, 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 bam. Ren and Tara, although they weren't dating at the time, had a thing for each other. It is now 4.30 a.m. We get to Tara's house, bust out the ice cream, the anime, and the sleep deprivation, and that was our night. From 4 to 8 a.m., all we did was make stupid jokes, talk about things that didn't matter, and we ate food and watched anime when we should have been sleeping. So, <coughs> basically a regular Tuesday night for me. It was a really fun time, but then we had to go to bed. You see, I brought a pillow and a blanket, and I was prepared to sleep on the floor alone with my dignity, therefore canceling out some of my third wheeliness. But then, Tara chimes in and says, No, 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 
it's fine. Come on, just God, just oh, come on, just share the bed with us. Come on. This wasn't the movie theater or a restaurant. This was Tara's bed in her bedroom. I was about to third wheel a couple while in a bed of all places. First of all, that is a double size mattress. It just barely fits the two of you. And second, if I'm going to cry tears of loneliness, I'm going to do it in solitude and on the floor. Thank you very much. But then Tara was like, come on, just. Just sleep on the bed. Just I don't want you to sleep on the floor. Come on. Pff, just ah, just sleep on the bed. You see, Tara was one of those very enthusiastic and energetic pokey kind of girls. So I basically couldn't say no and just gave in after 0.6 seconds. She didn't want me to sleep on the floor and be uncomfortable, but she also didn't see the problem in this situation. So I shared the bed with them and everything went as expected. We squished onto the bed and it's Ren, Tara, me in the cold, lonely wall. I will build a great, great wall. So we start falling asleep and I'm like, hey, this is actually going pretty good. But then the whispering came. Uh, yeah, and then I was like, show me potato salad. Oh my God, you're so funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks, babe. I'm glad that they were both being polite and whispering in an attempt to not be rude and wake me up. But we are literally two feet away from each other. They did a really great job of not being PDA. Uh, up until that moment, I guess. But it wasn't really a public display of affection because we were in Tara's bed in her bedroom. And this is partially my fault for not sleeping on the floor and saying yes to the ice cream in the first place, but uh, whatever technicalities, right? So that was my night, just third wheeling on a whole nother level. Slowly falling asleep and then waking up to the sound of this. <laughs> Do you think he can hear us? Didn't want to have to deal with that, so I kind of just awkwardly rolled out of the bed and migrated onto the floor after a while. Side note, I didn't even care at this point. Okay, I cared a little, but my boy Ren was cuddling with the girl that he liked, so that's a victory in my books. Live by the bro code, you know. I take one for the team, son. I then just slept by the closet for the rest of the night, uh, day. We went to bed at 8am, so yeah. <coughs> Good times. So yeah, thank you to Ren and Tara for inviting me to get ice cream with them, therefore making this fun, long, like, desolate third wheel story possible.